Hello, I'm John Janechik from Morantis, and today I'm uh, here to talk about K zeros. K zeros is a single binary Kubernetes distribution. It's packaged with its own CLI. It has a lot of features, helpers, flexibility options. It runs on pretty much anything from Raspberry Pis to data centers, x86, 3264, ARM 3264. It runs on Linux, but apart from a kernel version requirement, it's very agnostic there as well. It runs on Ubuntu, RHEL, Amazon Linux, Alpine, Raspberry Pi OS, and so on. K0 has a lot of downloads on GitHub. It has 3.5k stargazers, 139 forks, lots of activity, and a very, very interesting and committed community. So a lot of people are involved in this project. One of the things that's most interesting, at least you know, to people like me, about K0 is how many different ways there are to install it. Uh, and how easy fundamentally installing it is, no matter which way you choose. Uh, I'm going to show you three ways to install K0 today. Uh, the first one is simply by starting it at a Docker container. Just install Docker and issue a command to start a container. Everything gets pulled in. And in about 20 seconds, K0 is running. I'm going to speed life up a little bit. The K0 CLI is uh, packaged inside the container and gives access to kubectl, so you can issue commands directly through the container exec. You can also grab a kubeconfig through the exec, save it locally, and then you can copy it and use it to light up the Kubernetes IDE lens. The second way you can install lens is manually. There's a single script that can be used to download Lens on nodes, and then the CLI lets you start uh, and enable services. Here I've set up two Ubuntu 18.04 machines on virtual boxes uh, as a controller and worker. I just log into what will be the controller node, node 1, and run the script. Then you run an install command that builds directories and uh, sets other things up. And then you start and enable the installed services, giving yourself a controller node that survives restarts. Now that your controller node is running, we're going to grab the auto-generated cube YAML, uh, called admin conf in this case. And we're going to copy it over to Lens and use it to connect to the cluster once we've created a worker node. For the moment, we'll leave Lens connecting with the controller in the background. Back on our controller, we're going to generate a worker token. And we will again cut and paste it, this time to the other machine. Popping a new terminal window, we SSH into node 2 and perform the same formula. First, we run the script to install. Then we cut and paste the token from our other machine into a file on the worker machine. Then we run the install again, this time handing the K0 CLI the token to create a worker. And then, as with the controller, we start and enable the worker services. Back in Lens, which, as you will recall, we've attached to the cluster already. All that's left is to watch all the services spin up. The third and probably best way to build uh, k zeros clusters is with its community-created lifecycle manager, k 0 CTL. k 0 CTL runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows as a command line application. Just download it, make it executable, and run it. Use the KOCTL uh, CLI uh, to generate a config file, which is easy to modify. I'm uh, hooking it up with IP addresses and other parameters for three servers I just started on AWS. Then apply the config. K0CTL goes out, checks machine facts, pulls back information, installs all the components, and waits for them to start up then hands you what you need to know to connect to the cluster. Again, I'm going to copy the kubeconfig to a file, and I'm going to use it to light up Lens. Of course, the AWS VMs are much faster, so by the time we spin up, everything is green. 
The last thing I'm going to show you is a lens extension. Lens has a, an entire framework built in that allows creation and easy loading of extensions from the community. This is an extension that creates a force directed graph of all the resources in your Kubernetes cluster and it's a lot of fun to play with. So that's it. Please visit the Mirantis booth if you get a chance. Um, talk to us about K0s, about Lens, uh, or about the other stuff that Mirantis makes. Uh, and thank you for watching and listening.